Hi there, my name's Brad Glover and welcome to yet another, another video here. Uh, <laughs> today we're going to be painting orange. I've had quite a few requests on how I do my orange, but it's quite bright and vibrant. And orange isn't really a colour you see a lot as like a main colour on an army. So um, that's what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to be painting this guy just here. He's a like auxiliary for my Tau army, like a space marine auxiliary. Uh, and this is what it looks like when it's all done, finished. You see it's very bright, striking kind of thing. And as proof here, it does work on like larger scale models, like these big panels here. Obviously I'm not like the best painter in the world, but you know, it at least looks bright and eye-catching, which is the main thing. So the way that we'll be doing it is uh, we'll get this guy. We've sprayed him with uh, this spray here. Uh, I used to use the Avalon Sunset one that Games Workshop did, but they stopped doing it, unfortunately. So um, I just use this now. Or you can always just base coat it with Avalon Sunset first, but with a spray it'll be a thinner coat. So, you know, thinner the better. Uh, and then we'll be doing a coat of Troll Slayer Orange over top of that. Then uh, Screamer Pink in the recesses and a highlight of Flash Gets Yellow. So uh, let's let's get into it. So here I've got my Troll Slayer Orange. Because uh, I use so much of it, mine I already water it down. So I literally just pour water into the pot until it's like this sort of quite thin consistency. And then literally all we're going to do is just slap it on all over the armor. Obviously the, all the parts that we want orange. Uh, you don't need to be too neat. And just uh, get on, try and get it nice and even, best you can. Because when, when it pulls like this, uh, it goes real bad. <laughs> so definitely don't want that. Make sure it's all nice and smooth. We're gonna do two coats of this. Uh, just some, get a nice solid color. And doing this over yellow is definitely the best way to, to do it. It's just so much easier uh, than anything else. Right, so now that that's dry, we're gonna go around and do the same thing again. Just gonna get some more pre-watered down orange and do the second layer. You can, if you wish, add a little bit more water to this. You just want to make sure that it's going over as smooth uh, as possible. And then when this is all done, it's going to be nice and nice and solid. Nice solid orange, which is what you want. Okay, so now that uh, we've done both those base coats, looking nice and smooth, we're going to get some of this uh, Screamer Pink. Slap some of that on there. And thin it down quite a lot. Into more of a glaze consistency. About the same as the orange, actually. Maybe a little thinner. Chuck some more in. So, yeah, about that. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to put it in all these recesses and just line all around here. Add some shading. Probably do a little bit more water. You can just sort of add it until you're like comfortable with where it is. Just over here, these rivets. Yeah, it's gonna look like super bold, quite cartoonish, but you know that's sort of what we're what we're going for. So uh, we'll go around and do all that.
Now that all the recesses are all lined, uh, we can just go ahead and highlight with flash gets yellow. Just going to take some of this. As we do. We don't want as much water as the previous stages because we are using it as like a solid highlight this time. I tend to twist my brush to sort of get it to like a nice point. We want to do some super thin highlights, or like as thin as possible. It's where a painting hand already comes in handy. I do have very shaky hands, unfortunately. But you do the best you can with what you got. And basically we're just going to work around the whole model like that. Okay, so now that that's all done, um, you can just stop there and just have the armor be like that. But as you can see on one that I finished earlier. Uh, you've got all these freehand patterns that really make it like pop, really make it stand out. Uh, so I'm just gonna add those now. So we go back to our flash gets yellow. Same brush, nice and thin. We're gonna do it on this shoulder pad here, that'd be a good example. Uh, and I just lead off from one side and just do a curve. Solid. We can maybe be a little faded, depending on what you like the look of. And then we'll do another one. Up there, like they don't have to be perfect. As long as you like the look of them, that's all that matters. Uh, then I'm going to do a few little lines coming off like that. And just kind of filling that space just with some random uh, patterns. One coming around there, neaten that bit up. And then what I like to do as well, just because it's super easy, is just fill a lot of these little gaps with just some dots. Super easy. They don't have to be like perfectly circular, they look sort of more like natural. That way, a few little dots. And there we go, the orange is all done. So you can see how much better that looks compared to how it did before. Yeah, that's how it looks when everything else in the model is uh, is done. So, you know, if you did enjoy this video, uh, then, you know, like it and subscribe and do all the, all the stuff. Uh, my next video, I'm actually gonna be doing like a full army showcase on my towel. So if you wanna see like everything I've built for my deep sea towel army, then uh, that'll be my next video, I think. So, um, and yeah, it's been this has been me. This is my, yep, yeah, and end of the end of the end of the video cut. <laughs> oh, god. Yep, this is a shorter one today. That's nice and nice and easy. So I didn't have a weird goblin face in this video, so I don't know if that's better or worse. But you know, we will see. Let me let me let me know. <laughs> All right.